Indifference curves are lines in a coordinate system for which each of its points express a particular combination of a number of goods, or bundles of goods, that the consumer is indifferent to consume. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, shows the amount of good x a consumer can consume, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows the amount of good y this consumer can consume. This indifference curve will therefore join all the different bundles of these goods that will report the same utility. This way, the consumer will be indifferent between choosing bundle A or bundle B. Remember, the consumer will be indifferent between any point along the curve as it will report him the same degree of utility. The relation between the amount of good X the consumer has to give up in order to be able to consume more goods Y is known as the marginal rate of substitution between these goods. The slope at each point of the curve will show this relation. The indifference curves, as we move away from the origin of coordinates, imply higher consumption and therefore increasing levels of utility. When able to choose, the consumer will always try to obtain the indifference curve that gives him the highest utility. A graph showing different combinations of indifference curves is known as an indifference map. However, not all indifference maps are the same since the indifference curves may have different shapes. This second indifference map shows us the case for goods or bundles of goods, which are perfect substitutes. Since the lines are parallel and marginal rate of substitution is equal to one, that is, the slope has an angle of 45 degrees with each axis. It can also be the case for goods or bundles of goods that are perfect substitutes, but in different proportions. Lastly, this graph shows an indifference map with three indifference curves that represent perfect complementary goods. This means there will not be an increase on the consumer's utility unless both goods increase in the required proportion. The best example of complementary goods are shoes, since the consumer's utility will not increase when he or she gets a new right shoe without getting a new left shoe. Notice that the elbows are collinear and the line crossing them defines the proportion in which each good needs to increase in order to have an increase in the utility. In this case, the horizontal fragment of each indifference curve has a marginal rate of substitution equal to zero, and the vertical fractions a marginal rate of substitution equal to infinite. It's worth mentioning that this analysis of indifference curves can also be applied to production. In that case, the marginal rate of substitution turns into marginal rate of technical substitution and marginal rate of transformation.